That's right. Yeah, we're familiar. We're familiar. Exactly. Whosoever. Whosoever. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's why you won't read it. That's why you won't read it. What's the what? Acts 2 what? He gonna grill at me. I know, right? He gonna grill at me. Because that shows what's in his heart. Dead men's bones. 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 We're gonna shut that lion up today. We're gonna shut that lion up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You ain't yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't get silly. 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 Don't Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't get silly. Don't touch me. Don't get silly. Do not get silly. He saw that. He saw that. He saw you. He saw you. He saw you. Get I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Sir. I'm good. Can I speak to you over here? Back up. Yeah. We're preaching the word of God. See, this is what they did in the Bible. They contended in the marketplace daily. Okay, listen. I'm listening. I'm listening. I don't oppose the freedom of speech. That's right. But I'm saying that you can't Yeah, the, I ran up there because they got my guy's face. Why aren't you what? talking to them? That's not. Why aren't you talking to them? To have them. No, oh, he has my friend. I'm talking to you. That officer had them. But they, they been stirring up trouble. They follow y'all model. Okay. They, sir, they call everybody here. They say all white people are going to hell. They preach lies, and we're here to contend in the in, in the marketplace. We ain't gonna put our hands on them. We ain't stupid. We're Christians. We're Christians. If they put their hands on us, that's on them. We don't have to move. You, you don't have to be provoking either. I'm not provoking them. We're preaching the word of God. This is what this is what Paul did. This is what Paul did. This is what John the Baptist did. This is what Jesus did. No, I'm not provoking them. They got his face. They got my face. They put their hands on me. This and me. And the guy in the green. The guy in the green put his hands on me. You're the guy. Don't come near the women. You, dude, I don't want your women, bro. I've got a wife. I don't want a woman. I don't know what I'm doing with that. That's the problem with this cult. They're violent. That's right. That's right. You're a violent cult. Ah, no. That's right. You just put your hands on me and we got in our camera. You're a violent cult. Do what, do what do you think it's a game to you? Think it, it, it is a game to you. Exactly. But guess what? We don't wrestle against flesh and blood. 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 Put your hands on me. That's fine. And I'll forgive you. And I will forgive you. And I will forgive you. And who is your people? Who's your people? Who's your people? He, he's mad because I put my camera I'm on. I'm not him. mad. Put your camera on. Us. Oh yeah, we're gonna be right next to him. Okay. We're gonna be right next to him until they leave. Until they leave. Yes, we can. Just show me that law. Show me that law. We can be here. Show me that law. No, you're, you're causing a disturbance. No, they're causing a disturbance. Boots, are you are here? You're causing a disturbance. No, so we're asking that you just take your thing to another side so that they can be here. Right? Wow. Okay. I know. I know. Playing that card. That's what it is. They're playing that card. They're playing that card. So where do you want us to be? Even though this is unconstitutional. It is. Sir. Because in a constitutional you know you are on society, you cannot put hands on somebody just because you don't agree. Sir, sir. Nobody threatened them with violence. We're speaking the truth sir, out of the Bible, sir. and they don't like it. Sir, so sir. So I, I, I stood right here, and he came up and put hands on me. Oh, I'm Officer Wilson, APD. How are you? All right. Good. I'm a Bible man just as you are. Okay? They are Bible No, they're not. They're not Bible. No, they're not. They are whooping. They preach another gospel. They preach another gospel. Here, here. We're trying to pull out Bible. Come on. Stop them sword. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna sharpen that sword, all right. Now the scriptures can come out. So now we gotta make the points. Read. This is the book of Hosea, chapter one and verse. They sure love the Old Testament. Check, check. And it says in the book of Galatians, chapter one, verses six through nine. I marvel that you are soon, so soon removed from Him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, unto another gospel, which is not another, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and will pervert. They pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we are an angel,
angel. But we are an angel because that's where their doctrine came from. It came from a fallen angel. Their doctrine came from a fallen angel. So though we are an angel, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. Let him be accursed. The same book to help them is a book of peace, okay? Yeah, yeah they're not preaching. Just take it over here, sir, sir. Just take it over here and go ahead and do yeah. your thing. You have a right, you have a right to do your thing and they have a right to do their thing, okay? Just take it over here, please. Thank you for your cooperation. Please. Okay? Please. See that? So PC. See? See? No, see? Well, PC. Because this is what they do. Yes, I know. Okay. Okay. You know how they are. I understand. PC. I understand. Thank Why? you. Thank Why? Is it because we're white? No, 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 because we're white? No, don't, don't. Don't, don't, don't stop, do Eric. It's not. No, I don't get that. Don't do that. You're not. You're not. Okay? You're not. For PC. Just take it over there, please. All right. And as I was saying, as we said before, so I say now again. If any man preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached, let him be accursed. Let him be accursed. They are preaching a false gospel. It is not the gospel of Jesus Christ. No, it is lies. They preach lies. And why is that? Because they are their, they are their father of the devil. And of his works, they shall do. Of his works, they shall do. They are their father of the devil. And guess what their father did? It was their father who put Jesus on the cross. It was their father who crucified Christ. It was your father who crucified him. And why is that? Because you are your father, the devil. You don't preach the full counsel of God. No, you cherry pick scriptures. You cherry pick scriptures to condemn people. To condemn people to hell. But you yourself are condemned. Because you don't believe. You don't believe. You don't believe in the grace of God. No, you don't. You don't believe in the grace of Jesus Christ. They can't take the truth without putting hands on somebody. That's right. We have it on camera. They put hands on both of us. They put hands on both of us because they can't take the truth. No. They're That's right. See, they put the camera on you when, when, when they put the camera on themselves when they're preaching out of their scripture, but then when I'm refuting that scripture, they take the camera off of me. That's right. And so that's how they act as cowards. That's right. They can't even handle somebody preaching the truth to them. They run like cowards. That's right. They can't handle it. They can't handle the scriptural truth. They twist their scriptures. They twist and read themselves into the Bible. And they're liars. And the Bible says that all liars shall have their part in the lake of fire. That's right. Listen, listen Hebrews, fake Hebrew Israelites, listen to me. All that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Oh. We're going to preach the gospel. Oh. Call upon the name that of the Lord. That message was not just for Israel. That message was for all nations. All nations. Jesus told the apostles to go to all nations and teach them. Make disciples of men, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Not just the scattered children of Israel. Hallelujah. Which you are not. You are a descendant of Cush. Just like I'm a descendant of Japheth. That means we're all Gentiles. And we all need to be saved by a Savior. That's right. You're not going to make it into the kingdom of God by doing these laws, the law of Moses for yourself. You sin every day. You don't have a Savior. The Savior, the Savior died on the cross and shed His blood for you. But you reject His blood. Instead, you cause people to hate other races. You're a racist cult. That's what you are. You spread hate. You, say, you spread hatred across races. And we bring love. My family is an example of the love of God. I'm married to a black woman. My children are African American. And you say shame on her for marrying a white man. Well, shame on you for being a racist bigot. That's because right. that's what that cult is. It's a racist cult. And they need to, they need to be right. they need to repent. They need to repent and turn to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. They need to turn to Jesus Christ. That's right. Who's able to save. He's got a hexagram on his chest. That has nothing to do with Israel. That hexagram is an occult symbol. They throw that on the ground to conjure up demons. Man, you got demons coming out of your chest. That's right. With that hexagram on your chest. That's right. Man, ain't nobody scared of your threats of violence. You can put hands on us all day. I've been knocked out for the gospel. That's what right. What you been? You haven't been knocked out for the gospel. We're not going to put hands on you. We're going to kill you with kindness. And we're going to tell you the truth, hoping that you might repent and be saved. Give him Acts, give him Acts 7.43. Acts 7.43. Right down there by your thumb. You took up the tabernacle of Molech and the star of your god Remphan. That's, That's right. That's what that star is. The star of your god Remphan. The synagogue of Satan. Yep. You blocked.
blocking people from entering into the kingdom of God. That's right. And God has an offense with you. You better repent and turn to Jesus Christ before you die. In That's the right. Because as long Amen. as you have breath in your lungs, you have a chance to repent. This is the word of the Lord to you. And you better repent because we don't want you to die and go to hell. We want you to be saved. We were crying for you before we came out here. You might want to put your hands on me, but I want to give you a hug. I want you to find Jesus Christ. I'm not an Edomite, and, I'm, and I love you. I'm your brother in humanity. Even though you hate me and you think I'm evil, I want you to be saved, brother. You can you can threaten me with violence all day, but I'll never threaten you with violence. Nope. I'll pray for you. I'll pray for you that you might be saved. Because you know what? Jesus died for you too. You're not beyond his reach. Christ said it is finished on the cross. Amen. You don't have to be Israel to be saved. That's right. You gotta repent and believe on the gospel. Jesus Christ put his blood on the cross. Hallelujah. We don't preach Israel. We preach Christ. That's and right. Crucified because that's the only way to salvation. That's right. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man, no woman comes to the Father but by me. That's what Jesus said. That's what Jesus said. Give him, give him Amos 526. Amos 526. Amos 526. What are we saying? What are we preaching? What are we preaching? Lord of you, you, Satan. We bind up those devils in that man right now in the mighty name of Jesus. You have no power, no authority over us. We're preaching the gospel, son. We're preaching the gospel. Do you know Jesus? I, I don't believe in slavery, man. That's not me. No, I hate slavery, man. I, I didn't descend from slave masters, man. My ancestors weren't slave ma slave owners. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry that happened. What are we preaching? We're preaching the gospel. Hey, uh, yeah. What time are you guys gonna be here? Until? We're gonna be here until the Lord tells us to leave. Okay. And the Lord doesn't speak as yet. He hasn't said anything yet. What's that? No. Okay. Right. We what? Now I just want to know if um, what time you guys are going to be. About another hour. Another hour? Private. Appreciate About it. an hour. Appreciate it. Yeah. If you send them home, you send them assholes home over there too. That's Listen, right. sir. Right. We don't, you you think, about, we think sir. the slave trade was racist and bigoted and, and, and it's, those guys are not. If you have a right to speak. Why don't you come over here? Come over here. There is no hate in your heart. I'm telling you the Bible. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. I didn't put you in chains. I didn't put you in no chains. <laughs> Here we go. I didn't put you in chains. Hey, would it, would it surprise you that my wife is black? Would that surprise you? My children are African American. So if I wanted you in chains, then I got to put my children in chains too. That's right. What do you got to say now? What do you got to say now? You know why I'm going to preach? Because I love you. I love you, man. I didn't put you in chains. I'm trying to lead you to the one who will take your chains off. That's right. Which is in That's the spirit. Right. You're bound in the spirit. How you doing, brother? I'm preaching Christ. How you doing, So you can have your chains you. removed. In the spirit, you're bound, sir. And God loves you that he sent his only begotten son into the world. That whosoever would believe on him shall be saved. That's right. That's what we preach. You know? Hey man, you, you can disagree with me, that's fine. We love you anyway. We love you anyway. Yes, we do. If you was my friend, brother, you'd see that love. But you look at me as an enemy because you're judging me by the color of my skin. There's love in this heart for you, man. That's right. There's love in this heart for you. Don't judge me by the color of my skin. Don't judge a book by its cover. There's love in this heart for you. Jesus said that ain't What's righteous that? judgment. What'd you say? I can't hear you. Your mother's white. Well, that's great. That's great. Okay, that's great. Fuck Good. all this shit. I love all y'all. <laughs> Give him Amos 526. <laughs> hey, I love you too, brother. <laughs> oh, man. This is good.
<laughs> yeah, right. man. Praise God. They preaching a lie over there, man. Don't listen to them. They're preaching a lie. Hey, listen. Let me tell you something, brother. Genuine white Christians did not put Africans in bondage. Nope. Those were devils. That's right. Those were false Christians because Jesus never said to put anybody in bondage. Nope. It was the real Christians that were white and black that fought against slavery. People like John Newton, people like William Wilberforce. The Underground Railroad was filled with white Quakers that loved Jesus and hated the slave trade. And for 800 years, and for 800 years before the Europeans, it was the Mohammedan Muslims that were running the slave trade. That's right. Mohammedan Muslims institutionalized African slavery. That's right. So why aren't they going after them? Why aren't they going after them? No. My ancestors fought against slavery, brother. My ancestors fought against it. Those are a bunch of wicked devils. We'll go to the KKK just like we'll come against them. We don't care. If you're a devil, you need to be saved. We'll go to the white supremacist church just like we'll come to this black supremacist nonsense. Because it's a racist. That's what they are. They're racist. They're a racist cult. And they're leading, they're leading people astray. They're leading people away from Jesus Christ. And we come out here to stand against it because we love you. And those brothers behind you too love you. All you got to do is call upon the name of the Lord That's and right. you'll be saved. Amen. Are you already saved? You listen to them? They're not preaching the truth, brother. Nope. They're writing their own doctrine into the Bible. That's right. They're not looking at the Bible and learning from the Bible. They're taking their bitterness into the Bible. God can save them from their bitterness. Amen. God can save anybody from bitterness. That's right. You know? God, my God, let me tell you something, man. I was, I had devils cast out of me when I was saved. Devils. My wife has been healed from an incubator. Listen, my wife hated white people. My wife hated white people. Because you know why? My wife... I, I see that, but that, that you need to have him tattooed on your heart. On your heart, not on your arm. On your heart. No. You got to have it on your heart. You got to be right. circum... Alright. Well, listen. Let me tell you something. My wife had a bitterness against white people because of the way she was treated. She, she'd experienced racism, too, from all white people. And she came home... I, okay, okay. But I'm just telling you that you can be set free from bitterness. Because in Christ, there's no longer black or white. There's no longer Jew or Gentile. We are brothers in Christ. We're brothers in Christ. In the kingdom of God, it says all nations from every tribe and every tongue and every nation. That's right. In, heaven, in the kingdom of God. Every tribe, every tongue, every nation. That's right. All those that come through Christ Jesus. These guys don't preach repentance. They don't preach faith in Christ. Nope. They preach, we're Israel, which is a lie. And if you're Israel, you can be saved. If you're an Edomite, you can't be saved. And they preach that the white man is Edom, which is a lie. And they preach their own bitterness into the Bible. And they preach the white man is going to be their slave. And, and their false prophet prophesied that in the year 2000, America preach. would be destroyed. And we're here to rebuke it. Jesus, man. That's right. And then when I get, they want to get close to him. He wants to put his hands on me. Because that's the demon. Their, their father is the devil. And they need deliverance. You see, he's waving at me now because he knows what I'm talking about. Mockers and scoffers. Jesus, Mockers said, and scoffers. Jesus said, you are of your father the devil. He was a murderer from the beginning. Yeah, I know you do. I know you do. But we're offering you salvation, brother. Through Christ Jesus. Through Christ Jesus. And when the true gospel is preached, it's going to bring you to a decision point. It's going to bring you to a decision point. Am I going to heaven or am I going to hell? Am I going to heaven or hell? When you look at your life, if you died today, are you going to go to heaven or are you going to go... I'm not saying you are, but if you did, if you did die today... No man, no man knows the hour of their death. If you died today... Today, I'm not saying you are, but if you did, would you make it into the kingdom of God? You don't know. How do you know? Tell me. How do you know? How do you know? You believe in your heart what? What do you believe in your heart? Everything? Your what? Your mom and dad? 
You gotta believe. Who? Who? Your father? Who's your father? God? How is he your father? You have to be adopted to be his father. You have to be adopted into the fold to be his father. And we, do you believe in Jesus? Yeah. No, you don't look. You don't look. You don't look certain. <laughs> You believe it? Okay. So have you repented and put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ? Yeah. Are you walking in the fruits of that? I will. You will? Man, you need to go home and think about it. I think you need to go home and think about it. Are you struggling with drink or no? You drink? No. No? Okay, that's good. Look, man, you need to think about what we told you today. We want you to be saved, man. We want you to be saved. Did you get one of those? Did you get one of those tracks from one of those guys right there? Yeah. Okay. All right, bro. You want to preach? Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Hey, you want me to keep I'll, going? I'm gonna give him act or Amos. I got some more we scriptures start, for him. We should start exposing our heresies. Yeah. Just start using the scriptures that you just expose them. There will be no boot licking or boot kissing today. No, there will not. There's all sorts of videos online of these cults making people, especially white people, kiss and lick their boots. Yes, you can Google it. Google, Google, he fake Hebrew Israelites make white people lick and kiss their boots. Google it. That's what they do because they say white people are beneath them. They say white people are below them. No, we are all made equal in Christ Jesus. There is no Jew, no Gentile. No Jew, no Greek. No free, no bond. No male, no female. Salvation is for everybody. This isn't Islam. Nope, this isn't Islam. Every man has to work out their own salvation with fear and trembling. Every man. You're not saved by your blood. You're saved by the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. That is the only blood that can save somebody. Not that these guys are Israelites anyways. They're liars and they're devils and they're deceived. They're playing, they're playing a racist, supremacist, cult-like doctrine that was birthed from the pits of hell, that was birthed from fallen angels. It was fallen angels that revealed this so-called doctrine to their leaders who started this cult back in the 60s. This cult's not even that old. This cult's only been going on for about 50 years. That's right. And they want to buy, they want all these black men in Atlanta, in all the cities across America, they want all these black men to go back under bondage, back into bondage, under the old covenant. They want them to follow the 613 Mosaic laws. But guess what? Christ, he fulfilled the law. That means you no longer have to worry about your, your linens uh, not mixing and whatnot. That means you no longer have to... Uh, the whole thing about rounding your corner of your beard. Do you guys round the corner of your beards? Do you guys round the corner of your head? No, nope, they don't. <laughs> Point being is, if you do, according to you guys, you're breaking your own laws that you can't follow. But guess what? That's why Jesus Christ died on the cross. He died on the cross so you wouldn't have to go back into bondage. So you wouldn't have to go back to Egypt. But see, they believe that Egypt is America. More false doctrine. No, Egypt is Egypt. It's not America. Amos, Amos. And this is going back to that little star they're wearing on their head and on their forehead and on their garments. It's actually called a hexagram. David never had a star. Let me turn to it. I got it. David never had a star. The book of Amos, 5 and 26. But ye have borne the tabernacle of your Moloch and Shun, your images, the star of your God, which ye made to yourselves. That's right. They are bearing the image of Moloch. That is the image they're bearing. That is not a star of David. David never had a star. But Solomon did when he fell into witchcraft. When Solomon had those 700 wives and 300 concubines, it's called the Seal of Solomon. That's he fell off from. into witchcraft. That's where it came from. And that's what you guys are still in bondage to. And that's why you have it on your forehead. And that little star on their forehead, 
Just like Mortal Kombat, it has six points, it has six triangles, and it has a six-sided octagon in the middle of it. Six, six, six. On their forehead. On their forehead. Six, six, six on its forehead. They've accepted the mark of the beast already in their mind. They've already accepted the mark. And the Antichrist hasn't even been revealed yet. But guess what? I pray you guys repent. You guys still have time to repent. But you need to put your faith and trust in the blood of Jesus. Not in some so-called blood that you think you're Israelites. Well, you're not. You're fake Israelites. You can't prove you're Israelites. We want a DNA test. The burden of proof is on you. If you think you're an Israelite, the burden of proof is on you. Prove it. Prove it. Prove you're an Israelite. You can't. What tribe are you from? What tribe are you from? You're not from Judah. But guess what? There's only two races. Two races in this life. Those racing to heaven and those racing to hell. Which one are you racing to? Which one are you racing to? Because you're trying to take people to hell with you. With your, with your burdens that you can't even keep. Because again, the word of God says, if you break one, you break them all. If you break one law, you break them all. Do you guys keep the Sabbath? Do you guys keep the Sabbath? Do you keep it holy? Do you not profane it? Oh, do you guys take the Lord's name in vain? Because I know you do. Yep. I see your videos. You say GD all the time. All the time. And they're going to say, well, God's not his name. It's a title. It's still taking his name in vain. Because yep. the Word of God calls him God. The same Bible you're using in your hands, that King James Bible, that's what we use. It calls him God. That's right. But they actually alter the Bible when they're reading it. Yeah, they do. They'll call him Yahuwah or Yahweh Shai. Or something else. Or yeah, some Yabba Yabba Haba Shaba. Yabba Dabba Doo. Don't even know what they're saying. If you guys are going to try to speak Hebrew, speak fluent Hebrew all throughout. Don't just speak Hebrew when you want to, cherry pickers. Because that's what you guys are. You guys are cherry pickers. You don't read scripture in context. You want us to read a scripture, and then you'll stop when it's out of colon. Right. And then turn the camera away when it's out of colon. No, when there's a colon in there, that means you keep reading. When there's a comma there, that means you keep reading. But no, they want to take scripture out of context to bring people into bondage, to make themselves feel good about themselves. They want to put white people in bondage, and they say that white people are Edomites, and they're going to be slaves. Well, guess what? That's not what's going to happen during the millennial reign. During the millennial reign, it's going to be peace. The wolf shall lie down with the lamb. The wolf will lie down with the lamb. Guess what that means? There will be peace. Peace. There's not going to be slavery in the millennial reign, you liar, wicked devils. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, ye hypocrites. Hypocrites. Because you are hypocrites. You are hypocrites. You don't keep the laws that you want all your black brethren and Hispanics and Native Americans to keep. I don't see any Native Americans joining your little cult. Where's your Native Americans at? Where are they? Why? Because they know you're lying devils. Right. And that's why they won't join your cult. You're bringing people into bondage with you. And put this on your little uh, your little YouTube. We hope we can find it. And we're going to come on in and we're going to refute all your false claims. Because you guys, you guys take scripture you out of context. Stand, you can't even stand in front of us and go back and forth with scripture by keeping the camera on us. That's right. Do it. That's right. You can't do it. Are you an Israelite? You're a Christian? You're a Christian? No, you're not. No, you're not. Oh, my goodness. Your fruit shows you're not a Christian. You agree with Jesus me? said you judge a tree by its fruits. And you have rotten fruit, friend. You're wearing a cross on your neck? You're, you're defending hypocrites? You're defending scribes and Pharisees and you call yourself a Christian? Hey, that's a righteous white man, right? There. You're a wicked devil, man. That's a righteous white man to you. Oh, yeah. Did he kiss your guy's boots? Did he kiss your boots? Did he kiss your boots? Did he lick the dust off your boots? Did he kiss your boot too? I have a question, brothers. What's, What's love? Up, brother? What's love? God is love. God is love. God is love? Yeah. But did you see how, now before you, you Can know you blame Yeah, these guys, the, these guys all over the internet, you type in ISUPK, uh, licking boots, and they got people, white people all on the internet, kissing okay, and licking boots. We had some tough business. Okay. I put that wrong with, I believe it was tough. You can't blame the child. One that I love, you sound like a tick in the bread. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah you could be burned. Or for Corinthians, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I love it, but it's not. That's right, that's right. That's right.
you know. And see, the Word of God tells us that we give the grace to the humble and the law of the proud. They preach their hate too. Yeah, so so that's why we don't show them no grace. We want to show them grace, but but they're proud. And God says the pride is an abomination to Him, and He's going to destroy the proud. He's going to destroy the haughty. No, I'm gonna kill them with the I'm gonna kill them with the law. <laughs> they need the law. Amen. As a matter of fact. It's uh, Malachi. This is, this is just for them. Amen. Yeah. That's right. That's right. And it says in Malachi chapter four, for behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, all the proud, all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. God hates the proud. He hates your proud arrogancy. And unless you repent, he's going to destroy you. He said, it's an abomination unto him. God said, pride is an abomination. That is what destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. It was their pride. It was their haughtiness. It was their high-mindedness. It was their arrogancy. Just like you guys. You guys make twice fold the child of, the, uh, child of the devil. Two fold the child of the devil you guys are making. You want to say that to me and I have a Quran in my bag? He didn't say that I'm the only way. He didn't say, no one said that they were the only way. Jesus did. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes unto the Father but by me. It also says in Proverbs 8 and 13, The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy, and the evil way, and the flowered mouth do I hate. That's right. You guys have flowered mouth. You're always cussing. Always cussing like sailors, flowered mouths, very proud, very arrogant, very evil, and God hates it. And he said he will destroy it unless ye repent. Unless ye repent, ye shall likewise perish. Unless ye repent, ye will all likewise perish. I pray ye repent and get born again. Because Jesus said, ye must be born again. If ye are not born again, you're not going to see the kingdom. Have you guys been baptized by the blood of the Lamb? Have you guys been baptized by the blood of the Lamb? Have you been baptized and filled with the Holy Spirit? No, you haven't. You're carnal. You're, you're carnal. You have a beast mind. You guys know nothing about the Holy Spirit. There's nine fruits of the Spirit, and you guys don't display any of them. And it says to not abhor your brother. The Word of God says to not abhor your brother. The Word of God says to not abhor your brother. I'm not Esau either. I'm not an Edomite. Edomites were destroyed in 70 AD. Edomites were destroyed. That's right. The Edomites were destroyed. I'm not Esau. Jesus said, love your enemy. Do you guys love your enemy? I'm your enemy. Do you love me? Jesus said to love your enemy. Do you guys we're your enemy, right? You say we're Esau. You say we're Edomites. Do you love your enemy? What are the two greatest commandments? To love thy God with all thy heart, soul, mind, and strength. And the second is like unto it. To love thy neighbor. Do you guys love your neighbor? No, you don't. You guys hate us. You hate white people. That's why you want white people to be in subjection to you. But guess what? When Christ returns, unless you repent, he will cut your heads off. He will destroy you with hellfire and brimstone unless you wicked devils repent. That's right. You guys have seven abominations in you and you need them cast out by the blood of Jesus. Seven abominations. And I'm going to read them for you right now. This, this is literally beside me. Everything beside me. You know, the He's a false teacher. The Moonies. Oh, the Moonies. You're not talking about the Moonies, are you? Oh, I think said Moon. I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. He was an Asian monk. And it says, Proverbs 6, 16 through 19, These six things doth the Lord hate. Yea, seven are 
abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue. That sounds like you guys. You guys look so proud and hardy with your little garments, with your little fringes, and your little hexagrams on your foreheads and on your chest. Very haughty, very proud. And it says, a lying tongue. You guys have a lying tongue. You lied and said we put our hands on you. When we have it on camera, you actually put your hands on us. A lying tongue. God hates all liars. All liars have their part in the lake of fire which burneth forever. I pray you repent. And it also says, and hands that shed innocent blood. Hands that shed innocent blood. If you guys claim to be, if you guys claim to be Israelites, it was your descendants then that killed Christ. If you guys claim to be Israelites, it was your descendants that killed Christ. You shed innocent blood. Now I pray you repent. Because the word of God says that, that it be on us and our children. That's what they told, that's what they said in the word of God. They said that we'll take this curse upon us and our children. That's right. So if you guys think you're Israelites, you have a curse on you. You are cursed unless you repent and put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. You don't get to heaven by being a so-called Israelite. You only get to heaven by putting your faith and trust in Jesus Christ and repenting of your sins. But guess what? God hasn't gifted you. The, he hasn't granted you the gift of repentance yet. Because your haughtiness proves it. It also says, hallelujah. And heart that devises wicked imaginations, feet that be swift to run into mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among the brethren. That's right. You guys speak lies and you bear false witnesses. And the word of God says that God hates that. It's an abomination unto him. Sorry? I'm preaching against those wicked Pharisees right there. They have seven abominations in them. What color was Yahshua? Who they call Christ? What color was he? You mean Jesus? There's no Yeshua. Jesus. Yeshua. Yes, there is. Yahshua yes. was there. His mama ain't never called him Jesus. Look. His mother never said, what, Jesus, what, can come I ask here. Questions? He said, Yahshua. Can I ask you a question? You can ask me 10 questions. What, I can what, language, what language do you speak? Me? I speak a language that was forced on me. No. I'm really a Masi Indian. I'm not, I'm not African American. I'm sorry you think I know, that. I know, I know. I'm, I'm, but I'm but reading from the tribe of Gad in the Bible. Can you prove I, that? Check it out. Can you prove who you are? No. I, I can prove who I am in Christ Jesus. No, I guess what? Can his I? name ain't the, listen, his so, name was never, he was the Messiah. He never characterized himself as Christ. That's Greek. He never said that. Yeah, he actually, he actually, wife, did, he actually his, did speak his, Greek. His wife, his wife, he actually did no, speak that's Greek. That's the King James Version. Uh -huh. That's not the real scriptures. Yeah, that's it is. That's the yes, scripture. Yes, it is. 70 AD they did that. What? 70 AD when the Roman Catholic Church kept together. No. The book of Enoch got it. Show me the come book on, of man, Enoch. Come on, man. Show me the book of Enoch in there. The book got a reference of the book of Enoch, but it's not in that book. The book why? of Enoch is not canon, that's why. Yeah, it is not the divinely white folk, inspired. The white folks decided not to be canon in 70 AD. I'm not, you're, you're just here to argue. You I have can say, no, you're arguing along with them. No, I'm rebuking but the Pharisees. You can't rebuke the Canadian yes, real can. children of Israel. You're no, not. they're not. And you're the not either. Israel you're right not either. You're not either. Jews. You're not either. You're not either. Uh, Check it out. You're not, you're, you're not, you're not day, Israelite. We're the last thing we can find out, but we didn't even got to talk about that part. We're talking about who, what his name was. What was the name of Mary? You it, know it, who Mary is? Yeah, the that's Mary. The one they call Mary. Yeah, I Her know name that. wasn't Mary. She never Look, called herself Mary. I speak English. Ma In English, Listen, his name is that, Jesus. No, it's just don't be Mary on the nigga. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not it's talking to you. Don't be Mary. I'm not talking to you. You know, I, look, you're, you're right in right my his face, name right? Should, his right, name should right, be, right right? be Yahshua. The Y was here. There's no Y. There's no listen, J in Hebrew. Listen, can there's I speak? No can J. I speak? There, was, there was no J. You're right. Like, can, can I talk? No, I was there was a J. There is a J sound. Listen, no. It's yes, a Y sound. Yes. That's not that it's a wise son. Can I talk? Can I talk? See, Lord rebuke you, Satan. Lord rebuke you, Satan. Let me see if I fall down. Lord rebuke you, Satan. Oh, you rebuke me. Oh, my brother. Man, you got no power. You got seven devils. You got seven devils. You ain't got no. I got seven devils. How much you got? If I got seven, you got seven. Yeah. If I got seven, you got seven. Because you're telling lies about the Savior. Keep walking, Pharisee. You're telling lies about the Savior. Keep walking, Pharisee. His name was Yahshua. His mama never said Jesus. His mama said, Yahshua, come here. Ignore him. He's a Pharisee. Pharisee of Pharisees. And we have nice Pharisees right over here with their long garments. They like to be seen of men with their long robes. And they like the upper seats. They like the upper seats. That's right. That's right. His name was Yeshua. Right. In, 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 in Hebrew, Hebrew, yes. But I speak English. I speak English. And his name translates to Jesus in English. The letter J wasn't even on the planet until 600 years after the last person who died. The last person who saw Yahshua died 
the, the letter J came out as an eye with a tail. Can I ask you a question? Do what I mean to answer that. Is that true? In God's word, did he not promise to preserve his word? I can say it was. But did he promise? People like your color. Hey, lower your tone. Lower people, your tone. Lower your tone. People, I can talk a lot as I want. Lower your tone. You're right, you're right by my face. Can I talk like this? I'm not yelling at you. Me. Then I'll, I'll talk to you like this. Sir. I'll talk to you like this. Sir. That don't me. Yeah. Back, back when Jesus was walking the earth, there was no letter J. But guess what? God, He is sovereign. God is sovereign. And there was a J sound. There was the J sound, hallelujah. But God is sovereign. In English, His name is Jesus. It's Jesus in English. It's Jesus in English. In Hebrew, it's Yeshua. In Spanish, it's Jesus. But see, all that is irrelevant. What is relevant is that Jesus Christ died on the cross for the sins of mankind 2,000 years ago. He shed his blood for those Pharisees right there. He shed his blood for those Pharisees right there. And he shed his blood for the Pharisees 2,000 years ago that put him on the cross. And according to them, those Pharisees will be their fathers. That's right. That's right. Because they claim they're Israelites. They have no DNA proof of it. No DNA proof that they're Israelites. Give us a blood test. The burden of proof is on you, Pharisees. Prove it. Prove you're Israelites. But guess what? Being an Israelite does not save you. It's only the blood of Jesus. Devils are cast out by the name of Jesus. They're not cast out by the name of Yeshua. They're cast out by the name of Jesus. English is the universal language. English is the universal language. Hebrew is a dead language. It's dead. And these guys try to speak it, and they don't even speak the biblical Hebrew. They don't even speak the biblical Hebrew. These guys could not stand in the sight of God. Because God would say, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. He never knew you. You have no relationship with him. He doesn't know you. But he wants to know you. He wants to know you, guys. He wants to know you. But you have to repent of your pride. You have to put your pride down and come before him and say, Father, have mercy upon me, a sinner. You don't think you're a sinner, though. You guys go before him like the Pharisees did. And you say, look at these, look at this hypocrite right here. Look at this heathen right here. Look at him. Look at him. He can't even look his eyes up to you. I, I tithe. I tithe. I give all that I have. And I pray three times a day. And look, I wear my long robes, and I got my fringes on, and I don't round the corner of my beards, and I don't eat shellfish, and I kick my wife out of the house when she's on her period. Do you guys kick your wife out the house when she's on her period? Do you guys, do you guys kick your wife out the house when she's on her period? Do you guys do that? Do you guys do that? I see you guys got different fibers on. You guys aren't keeping all 613 Old Testament laws. You're not. You guys are. They can't keep all 613 of them. No man could. That's why Christ came. That's why Christ came. He fulfilled the law. He fulfilled the law. Because no man could keep 613 of them. But they think they can. And they think by their good works that they're going to be saved. And so they can boast. They can boast. But let's go to Ephesians 2, 8, and 9. Whoa. And it says, hallelujah, for grace, for by grace are ye saved through faith. And that not of yourselves. It's not of works, lest any man should boast. It is a gift of God. So faith is faith comes by grace. It's a gift from God. It's not of your 613 laws. And that's why Christ came and he died on the cross. Because you guys can't keep all 613. But you want to. And you want to make young black men and young Hispanic men. You want to make young black and Hispanic men be in bondage to those 613 laws. But it's by it's grace through faith. It's by grace through faith in Christ Jesus. That's right. In Christ Jesus. Not of your not of yourselves. It's not of works. It's not of works, friends. Your works will not save you. Listen, everybody. Your works will not save you. You have to put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. 
and he will save you, not these hypocrites. These hypocrites make white people kiss their boots. And then they say, oh, we might have mercy on you. We might talk to the big man, and he might let you in because you kissed our boots. And you said you're sorry for how our, your forefathers treated us. That's what their cults do. You can look it up all over YouTube. Type in fake Hebrew Israelites kissing and making white people kiss and lick their boots. They make white people kiss and lick their boots. They guilt them into doing it. Lord, rebuke you, Pharisees. Lord, rebuke you. Wicked devils. Bunch of wicked devils. Sorry, brother. We're downtown rebuking the uh, Pharisee, fake Hebrew Israelites. guys don't have that. You're relying on your works. They rely on their works. Yes, you will have works. Good works will follow those that, that them that believe. But it's not your works that save you. It's your faith in Christ Jesus and Him alone that saves you. Without faith, works is dead. Lord, rebuke you, Jezebel. Lord, rebuke that Jezebel. We don't accept that. Nope. We don't accept that. Nope. We don't accept that over here. Romans 11, 11, it says, I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid, but rather to their fall. Salvation has come unto the Gentiles. Salvation has come unto the Gentiles for to provoke them to jealousy. Acts 28, 28. Be it known therefore unto you that salvation of God is sent unto the Gentiles and that they will hear it. That's right. Salvation is for Gentiles. And guess what? When you put your faith and trust in Jesus, you'll no longer be a Gentile. You'll be a born-again believer. Blood bought by the blood of Jesus Christ. By the blood of Yeshua. I love them. I love y'all. I love everyone. The Lord of God says, Romans 1, 16, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Hallelujah. Dad, smoke with cigarettes. He smoked them all. What else? Check, check, check. This one's dying. Hallelujah! Back on. That's right. Not going to be any boot kissing today. Nope, we're rebuking that false doctrine. Taking scriptures out of, out of context. Using Isaiah 49, 23 to justify making white people to lick their boots. Lord, rebuke you Pharisees. Ain't nobody licking your boots. Nobody's licking or kissing your boots, you wicked devils. We're going to shut the mouths of the lions today. These wicked devils want to force people to lick their boots. And they say, hey, if you lick our boots, you might make it to heaven. You guys won't even make it. Well, see, God, he's not willing that any should perish. God is very long-suffering. He's very long-suffering. Not willing that any should perish, but that all men everywhere should come to repentance. All men should come to repentance. All men should come to repentance. Not just Israel. And guess what? It's the time of the Gentiles right now. That's right. That's right. You guys can't even be saved right now. You guys can't even be saved right now. This is the time of the Gentiles. 
That's right. That means you need to repent and put your faith and trust in Jesus. Jesus said to Nicodemus, he was a Pharisee, he said, ye must be born again. Ye must be born again. You guys have never been born again. You haven't. You're relying on your works. You're relying on your carnality and your fleshy works to save you. And then you put that on other people. You put that on all these young black men. You want them to be in that bondage. You want these young black men to be in that bondage too. You want these Hispanic men to be in that bondage. You want Native Americans to be in that bondage. But you guys, you guys can't even keep all 613 of your bondage laws. You can't. And you won't. So you need to quit doing it out of your own works. Quit doing it out of your own strength. And you need to go to Christ. You need to go to Christ. And you need to put your faith and trust in Him. You need guys need to repent and put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. That's right. Because only He can save you. Only He can save you. You guys take one scripture, two scriptures, completely out of context, and then you build a false doctrine. And guess who else does that? Guess who else does that? All cults of the world. Jehovah's Witnesses do that. Mormons do that. Islam does that. That's right. Hebrew roots do that. That's right. Lukewarm prosperity gospel preachers, they do that. That's right. Word of faith, they do that. That's right. Charismatic Kundalini spirit, they do that. That's right. They cherry pick scriptures and then they build doctrine off it and they preach another gospel. They preach another Jesus as it says in 2 Corinthians 11 and 4. That's right. They preach another gospel that they receive from a fallen angel as it says in Galatians 1, 6 through 9. That's right. Check, check. Romans. This is for you guys right here. This is another scripture for the fake Hebrew Israelites over there. Fake Hebrew Israelites. That's right. They're fake. They're of the synagogue of Satan. That's right. They're of the synagogue of Satan. Synagogue of Satan. Revelation 2.9. Revelation 3.9. They say they're Jews, but they're not Jews. They say they're Israelites, but they're not Israelites. No. And then, then what do they do? They speak to people who don't know Scripture that well, and then they get them to believe it. Because these guys, they're being trained by Satan to understand Scripture. But guess what? Satan knew the word. He's, Satan knows Scripture too. Satan tried to use Scripture. Satan tried to use Scripture on Jesus when he tempted him in the wilderness. And guess what Jesus did? He came back with Scripture. He came back with Scripture. That's right. You guys can't pull one over on Jesus. And you can't pull one over on the saints of the Most High. You can't pull one over on the saints of God. That's right. You guys are lying, wicked devils. And we're going to rebuke you every weekend. Every weekend the Lord calls us to come out here, we're going to rebuke you. What are you saying they doing? You oh, look who's back. Oh, you got a speaker, huh? I've been here this little bit over there. I'm calling you up. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. We don't care if you do or not. You got all. You got every right to. You got every right to. Anyways, it says, Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them, and avoid them. For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly, and by good works and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. Hey, you guys are mad about the name of Jesus, but yeah, you're using a Bible that calls him Jesus. You use the King James Bible. You guys are hypocrites. You guys are hypocrites. If you guys don't like that Bible, then why are you using it? If you don't like the name of Jesus, then why are you using that Bible? Get a different Bible then. Get a different Bible then. You guys should be thankful for the men who shed their blood to bring us this Bible. That's right. That's right. That's right. Christianity goes before Rome. That's right. There was Christians on this earth before Rome. It was called Christianity before Rome. That's right. But, 
I don't really care. <laughs> hey, I have the Bible. Why do we have it? That's, that's like if you have a sword and I have a stick, I want to take your sword, fam. I could stab you in the But eye see, the, the problem is, the problem is they're, 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 they're like Peter right now and they're using the sword improperly. And that's where Jesus comes along. That's where Christ sends his saints out in the street to heal the ears of those that are being infected with that false doctrine. Because they flail their sword about wildly. They'll take a scripture here and there out of context to suit their little false doctrine, but they won't read it to you in its context. They won't read the whole series of scriptures. No, they'll stop at a colon. They'll stop at a comma. No, you keep reading. You keep reading. Hey, I can sit here by pulling one scripture, two scriptures out of this. I could sit here and say white people are Israelites. I could come to that false doctrine too, because there is a false doctrine that says that. But see, guess what? I don't care. Jesus said he must be born again. He didn't say he must be an Israelite. No, he said he must be born again. That's right. He must be born again. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you. That's right. And see, we're going to come out here and we're going to rebuke your false doctrine. And we're going to rebuke IUIC's false doctrine. Hey, guess what? You just contradicted yourself. No, I didn't. Okay. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> and guess what? We'll come out here and we'll rebuke GMS's false doctrine. And we'll rebuke Sakari's false doctrine. And we'll rebuke all the fake Hebrew Israelites' false doctrine. Every last one of you wicked cults. Because guess what? Unless you repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Unless you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, you will perish, friends. But no, you're relying on your little Mortal Kombat outfits. That's right. You're relying on your little Power Ranger outfits. Look at us, everybody. We look like Power Rangers. We look like we're dressed up for Halloween. I thought you guys didn't celebrate Halloween. I thought you thought it was a pagan holiday, which it is. But you're dressed up for Halloween right now. Thinking you guys are Power Rangers. Go ahead. You want the Bible? It's good. Good to meet you, brother. I'm gonna, I'm gonna you something. It's Kevin. Kevin? Nice to meet you, man. God bless you. I'm just gonna preach the gospel, the good news. Good, go ahead. Yeah. How you doing? 